Hello guys, welcome to another show of FU Money. Um, before we dive into the analysis of today, let me just thank you all for the all the comments and all the messages I received uh, yesterday. Um, I was not expecting such uh, in, in just 24 hours to have uh, so many views and so many comments on YouTube and Twitter, and so I'm. Uh, I really appreciate it, all you, all you have written and some feedback also from the videos. So um, I hope to improve based on your um, comments and, and feedback. And today you are going to have the first episode. So the episode number one of uh, technical analysis on Bitcoin. So let's go directly to the, to the, to the chart. So one of the feedbacks I got yesterday was that because of the monitor resolution um, it is really hard to read what's on the screens. so it's easy for me but you guys uh, are having some difficulties reading this. So one of the things I'll have to do every time I show you the charts is to zoom in. So let's go. Okay, so I hope this improves the size of the letters here and you are able to read now. Okay, so uh, let's start by the pro indicator strategy. Um, so as you can see, I started to draw the trend channel here, starting from this top around 58,200. Uh, we got a second range boundary here at around 43. So the low for this uh, for this uh, range channel. Then we got this third range boundary, which is still not confirmed because, as you can see, the the line is still dashed. So the indicator is still trying to understand if this is going to be the third range boundary or if possibly the price goes up then we can we can have uh, a change of the third range boundary but right now looking look at at the indicators the momentum <coughs> and the sine wave i would say we are going to reach a point here on top as the sine wave makes this curve and the momentum indicator also gets here to the top i would say that this is the maximum rise of the price for now also, we are reaching the 23% Fibonacci resistance and also we are reaching the trend channel top, which is this green zigzag line here, which is already here. So everything combined, um, the 23% Fibonacci resistance, which is this white dotted line here, and the trend channel, the green zigzag top trend channel they are all combining to this point precisely where the price is rising right now also we are trying to break the range channel that i've drawn here on, you know, on this chart and the sine wave is on top the momentum is reaching the top so i would say that this area let me let me draw it for you i would say that this area here is going to be our maximum rise for the short term. Uh, so we can also check we, we can also check the one day context to see if anything has changed. Mm, not really. So the indicator says that we are not coming down yet for a different context for example we could have a range in the one day context but for now we still don't have a decent range so the context to analyze is the four hour chart where you can actually see the real range here forming not the one day so if we had we, if we had a range on the one day chart this would be 
if I was analyzing a range here and there was another range in the one day chart with this indicator, I would be analyzing a range inside the range, which is not uh, recommended. So you should always analyze the bigger time frame for the ranges you are looking for. And right now, the only context is the four hour context where you can clearly see a range forming here. So for this reason, uh, I believe that we are reaching the top for this rise and possibly from here we will see a reversal and coming back down again. It would be great to reach my cherry on top price box. This would be the really nice area to, you know, go long here. I would not go short on this market because... <coughs> You know, if you go short on a, on a, um, bull market, if you go short on a bull market, you're probably going to get wrecked. So the best, the best, uh, uh, um, information we can, we can see from this chart right now is that the price probably will not go higher than 51 and a half maybe even 52 but f i believe this would be the top for now and probably we're coming back again maybe finding support on the 38.2 fibonacci or if things go really south then we can reach a cherry on top price i've been sliding this box to the right by the way just to um you know try to catch the price if it falls but um, let's let's hope that happens because there's a lot of people waiting for this area to go along but anyway um, so also another reason why I believe the price is not going to go up much more for this moment for the current moment is on my model so if you analyze the model here you can see that the price for the BLX, the last update for the BLX index, gives you a really close price to the exponential curve. And you know already what happens when the price goes above the exponential curve. It corrects. So it happened already twice in this bull market. And we are really, really touching there really touching the line so i don't believe we can go up much further so this is for the price to time model uh, the information long-term information i have we should not cross that line if we do that again the correction could be bigger than the previous one okay let's go back and to the mri strategy so we can look at the charts you know the one month chart <coughs> mm -hmm. okay so here is the monthly chart nothing to see here everything looks okay in the monthly chart we are still bullish so um let's go to the daily chart okay here's the daily chart uh the price is um as you as you could see in the pro indicators uh strategy we were reaching the 23 percent fibonacci resistance here in the MRI um, strategy, you can see the price is also reaching the 51, 52K resistance formed since this candle here and this stop, this stop, this stop, and now we are again reaching the resistance here. So in a way, this is confirming what we saw already in the pro indicators uh, strategy. Also the uh, volume is going down so I I don't I personally don't believe that the price is going much higher for now um, let's check the four hour chart
okay, so the trend line, this green line here that I, I've, I've drawn since uh, from the top, touching this high, the last swing high here, uh, has been broken. However, we have reached the resistance. We are also reaching the MRI resistance line here, these red dots. Um, you know, this is uh, one of one of the things I usually check a lot is the funding rate on BitMEX. And if you check the funding rate here, you will see that the longs are getting really high above my threshold of 0 0.1. Uh, so this favors the bears. So I think there are a lot of uh, indications right now that the price uh, is uh, finding really heavy resistance uh, for now. Um, let's check here. Yeah, we are still below the 100 period moving average. You know, the RSI and the MACD are lagging indicators, so they are telling you that this is becoming bullish. However, I believe that we are going to reach this resistance and at some point the MACD and the RSI are going to, you know, just go sideways, not going up anymore. And probably we are going to check to see the price coming down again, maybe testing the trend line here, maybe finding support on this uh, support area again, and then maybe going above and going to try to break this resistance again. The one hour, yeah, the price is already coming down. As you can see in the one hour, we already come, we touched the resistance up there, which is also the Fibonacci resistance. The price went there, came down, and we are now forming new candles coming down. The funding rate here is above the th my personal threshold of uh, 0 0.1, and so definitely favoring the bears. Also, the MACD and the RSI on the one hour are starting to go sideways, not going up anymore. The RSI is even coming down. So yeah, there are too many factors right now, which I believe will stop the price from going up um, for the next few hours, maybe till the end of the close, uh, the weekly close of today. So that's it for the MRI strategy. Let me go back to the four hour. <coughs> I also, I just forgot to mention something. So here are the context, the, the context channel, which is the gray area on top, the gray area here on the bottom. The price is exactly in the middle. So this is what I call the dumb zone. Many people have been asking me, uh, what is the dumb zone when I write about it on, 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 on Twitter? So the dumb zone is the zone where you are exactly in the middle of two um, contexts, the support context and the resistance context. And the price usually, when, when the price is in the middle, this is the dumb zone because this is the area where you should do nothing. Sometimes the best trade, as Stone says, uh, uh, <laughs> mentioned uh, yesterday, sometimes the best trade is a no trade. And this is exactly uh, what I mean by the dumb zone. So if the price goes up, this is a good area to take some decisions. If the price goes down, again, like the cherry on top price box here, this is a good area to take decisions. Here, you should not take any decisions and you should just wait for the price action to go up or down and then reach the context channel. Okay, so what else? Let me just go back to my price to time model here. As you can see, the BLX is still on 48,891. Um, so this is the last update of the price, uh, yesterday's price. Today, the price has not updated yet. This is usually at 2 a.m. Uh, Western European time. 2 or 3 a.m., I can't remember anymore. But usually, every time I wake up, 
this has the price uh, the price is updated already so the last update is 48891 although the price is already at 50500 around 5500 uh, which means that the price is already on top of the exponential curve line here which for me is the limit and this limit when crossed to the upside will give you a correction as you can see from the two times before that the price crossed over so i'm expecting if the price goes up uh, from the point where we are now and today and not waiting for some some one or two weeks more to continue the sustainable uh, rise then we can expect a bigger correction if this really goes above the curve line here okay so just to sum it up as i usually say on twitter we are going up uh, too high too fast for the price to time model and if this goes really above the curve line then um, uh, it's not sustainable basically it's not sustainable to go up so much that you cross this line sum it up here on the pro indicator strategy so we have the white line which is the momentum we are above 80 um, the, sorry the sine wave is the white line so we are above 80 the green line here is the momentum we are also reaching the top as uh, as the red dot line here uh, is saying this will become uh, in the short term this will become bearish the trend is bearish right now on the pro momentum indicator um, the Fibonacci is sending the price down as I as I stated in the start of this video and this cherry on top price is still not off the table for me now to sum it up here okay as you can see the price has been rejected by the 51 52k resistance and we are now just finding support here on the 100 period moving average probably we are going down maybe the trend line will support the price combined with this area of support here and i think that's it for this video so again i would like to thank everyone that yesterday sent me some comments and and twitter messages um I was not expecting to have so many, um, you know, support messages and and feedback about uh, the first one, the pilot. Um, I improved a bit on your comments. I am using Zoom now on my charts because it was really hard to see the small letters there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, first analysis of today, and I'll see you on the next one.